So um, we're at the corner of Scott Street and Fell, and uh, this is where the Wiggle, which is a relatively safe level room, meets Fell Street, which is, uh, as you can see, a major arterial. And uh, you know, some of us have a vision of uh, really sealing this off. To car. You see people come down, shooting down the hill here at high speeds, and they cut the corner. And um, as a cyclist, you know, you're supposed to wait right here uh, for the lights to turn green uh, before you make your left turn. But as you can see, like a lot of people don't because they feel they feel like it's not safe to do so. You know, most cyclists are actually, as you can see behind me, they are um, cutting over when, uh, and here we have some cyclists that I know, and so I'm gonna like to say hi to them. Nice. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Because they feel like it's safer to go through the red light, so look to the right, make sure no traffic is coming, and then proceed on the, on the bike lane here. It is really scary to wait there and have uh, cars just come swooping around. So lately the police have been ticketing cyclists who run the red light here. It's a $220 fine last time I checked. And um, it just seems really inappropriate to me when uh, the police should be out here making sure that uh, safety is the number one priority. And um, what we'd like to see here on this uh, intersection is uh, this Right here, we'd like to see a uh, trees and uh, shrubs and what's called filtered permeability so that cyclists and pedestrians can come through, uh, but there will be no car entrance here. So it would still be all open to cars. Yeah. And so cars could, could drive down Fell, they could drive up to Scott. All the residences would have uh, automobile access, but there wouldn't be through access at Scott Street. This would be a, this would be a um, uh, filter permeability essentially but you can see you know every single bicyclist runs this because to wait there it's just there's no traffic coming it's completely safe um, and if they if we sealed this off then you could have cyclists come up uh, via the wiggle and then turn left here and there would be no safety uh, issue at, at all and um, it just seems crazy that the San Francisco Police Department are out here uh, you know trying to facilitate people's access to cheap oil when um, Situation where uh, people are risking their lives, and, and, and if you if you look at uh, the city of, of London, they did a study and, and it showed that women were more likely to be uh, run over by large trucks, and they they were wondering why, and they figured out the reason why was that they were obeying red lights. They were actually waiting next to these trucks, and then the light would turn green, and the trucks would turn and squash them. And so a lot of the time, what's legal isn't actually what's safe. To be encouraging what's safe. It means to be making the law support and facilitate uh, safe movement of bicycles, pedestrians, and motor vehicles. So, our vision is to have to remove all the parking on the south side of Fell Street between Scott and Baker, have a, 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 a easy, separated, safe bike lane, and uh, close this off. If people want to get through, they can take the next street over. You know, it's not the end of the world. They can drive around. But for cyclists, they don't really have. Uh, a choice, especially if they're, uh, they have kids or they're carrying a lot of groceries and they don't want to go up a really st steep Page Street. So that's basically what we want to see here. We want to see this shut off. We want to see bollards and uh, big planters uh, like Berkeley does. And it works really well there. I don't, I don't see why, if, if it works in Berkeley, why can't we do it in San Francisco? Oh,